My yeah. name is Benjamin Damlari Olu, the overall best graduating student of the Lagos State University 2019-2020 section. I'm, I'm a proud indigenous of Lagos State, specifically from um, Ekpe local government, Ilara Eredu um, LCD. I'm from a family of six. I'm the second born. I have um, two junior brothers and then a senior dad. sister. My dad is a professor of chemistry. My mom is currently working as a civil servant of the Lagos State government. He um, made a 5.0 and I was surprised to hear the person. I met him in class and I was like, oh, Ben. <laughs> The guy. I actually believe Benji is the best graduating student because, sincerely speaking, amongst all his peers and his level, I've seen him being outstanding. I've known him to be very hardworking, um, resilient, and considering the main thing he does. I remember when I had issue with one of my course, he was the one that was helping me and he saw me through. He is always ready to do anything to make everything around him better. He is very, 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 very honest. As an, a friend indeed. Um, Benjamin uh, has been a very good student since he started with us. He's one of the students that uh, this department has experienced as one of the outstanding students so far. He's very consistent when he gets to his uh, studies and is very, very st studious. He has not been a troublesome guy so he has always been cool obedient to instructions i've known that um he's going to greater height so i'm also aspiring to be like him when he reads he understands and he doesn't read so long like that My name is Olu Benjamin Damlari. I'm a graduate of Mechanical Engineering, Faculty of Engineering, Lagos State University. I'm 21 years old of, of age. I'm 21 years old. I'm the second born from the family of six. I have an elder sister whose name is Precious. She also graduated from um, last year from the School of Communication. Then I have two younger brothers. One is in Mechanical Engineering, while the other one is in Medicine. They are both in last year too. Uh, my dad is a professor of chemistry. Um, he has always been an enthusiast for academics. So he likes teaching. Um, anything academics is always in for it. Then my mom, on the other hand, she's a civil servant. She's working with the Lagos State government. Um, one of my drive while I was in while I was on campus, so I, I would say my dad was actually one of my biggest drive on campus because for every semester and for every of my small achievements, you always have this um, promise that he would have told me, oh, Ben, if you give me 5.0, tell me whatever you want, I'm going to get it for you. Ben, if you do this, tell me whatever you want, I'm going to get it for you. So that has always been one of the reasons why I was like, ah, no, I have to get this thing because I really want to get the stuff. So, my 100 level, I think I got a tablet. My 200 level was a system. Um, 400 level was a laptop too. My 500 level, due to the fact that at that time I was already ahead of most of my classmates in school. So it actually gave me a car as my graduating gift. That old oh, Benu, for which have made me proud. This is the car key. Take this car and it's yours. So that has always been a drive for me to actually push myself to be resilient, to get what I have to get, so I can actually get something. Not like it's a trade, but it was like a source of motivation for me to actually put in the work, to do what I have to do, then to be the best. Um, and also, there's no reason to stress life, like to make life too difficult, because actually life is already too difficult. Because when I got into 100 level, I, um, I just got told, I was told that, fine, Benjamin, if the foundation is strong enough, then when you are progressing to your next um, level, it's going to be easier to actually maintain the CGP and everything. So I thought to myself, then just ease yourself of this stress and then start right now from 100 level so you can just make it easy for you. So that was how I started. 100 level, my dad will always wake me up every day at 4 a.m. Whether I want to read or whether I don't want to read, he will always wake me up. That Ben, we are stand up, stand up, read. 
he would have read the whole course, even though he would say no, Ben, stand up and read. So that actually, like, it trained me to always be disciplined and to always stand up to do what I have to do, regardless of if I'm tired or if I'm stressed, because I know it's just for some time. A semester runs for about three months, and I'm sure after that three months I get to rest. So I just had the sense, I just make this thing easy for yourself, put in the work, and then just, you know, get it done. Apart from reading, I, I'm also a sporty person. Like, I actually play a lot of games. While I was in secondary school, I, I was involved in volleyball, I was involved in the tennis, and even football. And in the university too also, I got interested in basketball. So I started playing basketball, playing the tennis, badminton. Um, yeah, snooker too. I'm very good at snooker. Though I don't, I don't gamble football. Yeah, I'm very good at snooker. Then also, one of my most favorite of all, like, I can't do without gaming. That's something I'm always interested in. From PS1, PS2, PS3, up to PS4 right now. So I'm always, I'm a gamer, I would say that, because I really love playing games. Because that was like one of the things that actually keep me relaxed. If I've read for some time, and though I watch movies too, but I'd rather game than watch a movie. Um, while I was in school, like I said, in 100 level, I literally read every single day for each semester. First semester in 100 level and second semester because I, it was the first time in the university, so I had to just put in the work to get myself and to get used to the curriculum and everything. So while I was at Ekpe, in 200 level, I read a lot because, you know, um, most of my senior colleagues will be like, ah, Ekpe is different from Ojo. Ah, if you come to Ekpe, you see Dr. Raji, you see this one. And that has already put this sort of fear in me that ah, it seems this Ekpe is going to be stronger. So I was literally reading like crazy in 200 level. I could remember uh, uh, the night for strength of material exam because the test was crazy so I was like ah I need to actually get a very good score in the exam. So throughout the, uh, the night before the exam I actually read throughout the night. <laughs> I even prepared like an in I, pre I prepared indomie noodles because I was got getting hungry as I was doing so I was just eating and then reading throughout the night. I slept around like five there about. So it's already level was it was so stressful for me because you know, getting used to the campus and everything. But as I proceeded to 300 level, 400 level, I just found out that I had to structure my reading. Then I started streamlining my reading in terms of what the lecturer actually wants. Because I found out that if you understand the way the lecturers actually want their answer to be, their questions, I mean, to be answered, and in a way you have a feeling of what the lecturer might set in the exam. So with that, I started getting, like, eating the target of what I need to read. And I will structure myself in terms of, oh, this is the particular question or, or answer I need to answer in the exam. Because I know this answer is always coming out from every past question. So I used to put myself towards that so I can align my reading. So with that, my reading, though, like, average Lisha, I should be reading about four, three, four hours maximum after 300 level. My aspirations, well, I actually love academia too to some extent, though I'm always like, oh, I don't want to lecture, but well, I'm getting a few that I actually love lecturing at the end. So all of my aspiration is actually to get to the highest level of academic, which is the PhD level, of which um, I've gotten some admissions from some school already. So that's aside. Then I would also like to be, I would like to um, improve the one of my special is to actually improve the mechanic, um, the manufacturing level of, of like the engineering manufa manufacturing level of engineering in Nigeria, because I just found out that most of the stuff that we are using in Nigeria is more like being imported and thereabout. So I feel with advanced manufacturing, there is a way we can limit our um, level of exportation at least to an acceptable level. So implementing and improving the manufacturing sector of engineering is one of my aspirations in Nigeria. At, I wouldn't say I was too distracted when I was on campus because I'm always, like, I, I had a way of structuring my time. I had a way of structuring my time. So at least I knew in theory level I had this close relationship with a lady. Um, well, that didn't stop me from actually getting to do what I have to do. But, when you are focused on what you have to do, you just have to do what you have to do and get what you want to get. So basically, I would say my distraction would be maybe playing video games because that can take a lot of my time. 
uh, and as well probably just forex to might be a part of anything making money I, uh, I'm always I'm business oriented so I, I like hearing things about money so that can also be a, a little bit of distraction for me yeah, while I was on campus yes I got a quote recently and I don't know I feel that has been what I've been doing without me knowing so the quote was to train your mind to be resilient to do what is best for you so regardless of the situation, regardless of the circumstances, yes, it's going to be difficult actually because I wouldn't say it's easy to have graduated with 4.97 CGPs. It took a lot of resilience and perseverance to some extent because you have to just sit up and read. So definitely, I would say just train your mind because your mind, the mind is like a muscle actually. The more you train it, the more you develop it, the more you get to control it. So if you train your mind to be resilient, to persist on what you need to do, and you know that thing you need to do is actually going to be good for you and beneficial to your um, to your life in general, just train your mind to do that thing and you see yourself succeeding in life. So my advice to every student right here is do the work, put in the work. Yes, it's hard work. That's why it's hard work. At the end, you get the results you have always wanted. Finally, I would like to thank every of my um, supervisors, my lecturers, they, for their fatherly support because they actually had a very, very great impact on my academic life while I was on campus. I would also like to thank my friends and my classmates because without their support also, I wouldn't be where I am today. I appreciate all of your efforts. Then to my HOC, McKinston, the best HOC, I say thank you. I say thank you. Thank you to Dr. Alifi, Professor Raji, to Dr. Adi Deji for his motivations, for his encouragement. I really appreciate all of your efforts. Thank you to Richard, the cook of the house, the best cook on campus. I say thank you for being my roommate. Then thank you to Kola Azilov. Thank you to Salem. He has been such a friend. Spiritually, he has been pushing me. Academically, he has been pushing me. I really appreciate everybody. Also, the vice chancellor. I really thank our support because I appreciate our effort towards pushing last week. I'm pushing the frontiers of knowledge in our last year. Um, I thank the university management also for putting up this initiative to actually be able to demonstrate my life while I was on campus. Um, I would also like to thank the teaching and non-teaching staffs, every member of staffs in the Lagos State University. I say I will make you proud wherever I find myself in. I will always push the name of Lagos State University forward and make the school proud wherever I find myself. We are last soon, we are great. Thank you very much.